Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here, coming at you with a viewer request on the T-Bar Cichlid. Now these guys are really unique, really cool looking. Uh, me personally, I have a hard time finding them around here, but I have kept them in the past before. I do like them. They are a lot like a convict cichlid, which is one of my more favorite fish because they're a cichlid that stays relatively small. Now what I like about these guys is the size. They only hit 5 inches, which is nice. It's a real manageable size. But don't let that size kind of fool you on their aggressiveness when it comes to breeding. Now, a little bit about these fish. They're from Costa Rica. They're a Central American cichlid. Now, these guys take a wide range of water conditions. For the pH, you're looking anywhere from 7.0 to 8.0. They can even go a little bit lower than that. It's not going to hurt them. For temperature, you're looking at about 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like with any other cichlid, they can accept a little bit more or a little bit less and still be fine. Also with these guys, they're an opportunity feeder. Now what's that mean? Basically whatever they can get their hands or mouth on, they're going to eat. So they're really not picky when you're bringing them home. So like some of the other fish that you're going to put in the tank, they're going to cower down to the bottom. They're not going to eat a morsel or anything. And you, you freak out if they're not eating for two or three days. Now usually that's all right. But with the T-bar cichlids, these guys are great. They're going to eat anything from frozen, pellet, flake, freeze dried, anything like that. They pretty much eat like they're not sure if they're gonna get the next meal or not. So this is what's great about these guys. Being a beginner fish's dream basically because of the size. They're easy to breed, easy, relatively easy to sex, and just a great eater in general. Now with these guys, like I said, the water conditioners aren't all that important, but when you're looking to breed these guys, again, temperature is kind of key for everything. 78 degrees is usually what it's kept at for breeding these guys and the males are going to get that hump on their head and the females are going to get like a yellow to orange uh, hint of coloring in their fins which is actually pretty eye-catching and you're going to notice it right off the bat. Now another thing with the males is these guys, their fins, the anal and the dorsal fin, so the top and the bottom fin, are going to reach out or fully extend beyond the tail fin. Now like other fish, genetics can happen. You can have a lot of uh, good breeding, so the females can also do that too. But the key thing to look for is that hump on the head on the male and the yellow to orange coloration on the female's fins. Now what's nice about these guys is it's a relatively easy setup. I recommend breeding these guys in anywhere from a 30 to 40 gallon tank. Now I recommend keeping these guys by themselves because they do remind me a lot like a convict cichlid. They are very semi-docile for a cichlid, but once they get those babies in the tank, it's a whole new story. These guys will take down anything and everything that's in their way to protect those babies, which is awesome. But again, that can be kind of costly for you and your fish tank. Now you're going to see what's going to happen is your male and female are going to pair off if you have them. They're either going to pick a spawning point or just completely spawn in that spot before you even know it. All your other fish can be jammed into the corner, basically waiting to not be the next meal for these guys and to stay completely out of the way of them. Now what you can do with that is, like I said, 30 to a 40 gallon tank to breed them in by themselves. Now what's nice is these guys are a flat rock or a cave breeder, which is relatively easy to get. You can go get a clay pot from a Michael store, uh, AC Moore, any kind of crafting store, anything like that. Even Walmart has them. Home Depot and Lowe's as well. They usually run about two to three dollars. Now you really can't beat that. It's easy and relatively inexpensive. Now if you have slate rock like I do in the backyard, you can go get that as well, but make sure that you rinse it and boil it and it's safe to put in the water for your aquarium. Now these guys are going to pick a spot. Now with a clay pot, I recommend it being at least one and a half times the size of what they can fit. So you don't want them to basically cram in there and either get stuck or not be able to go fully in them because then you might lose some of the eggs to fungus because they can't fan them efficiently. Now, you have to remember that these guys sometimes will breed upside down on the side or down on the bottom. So you want to keep that in mind as well. Now usually within four to five days, these guys are free swimming. So usually about two days, the eggs will hatch. And like I said, four to five, maybe six, uh, sometimes seven, they'll become free swimming. But like I said, it all depends on the temperature. So you want to keep that in mind as well. You don't want a high temperature to fastly develop them, yet it'll make them free swimming a lot quicker, but that's also going to make things not develop as strongly or as well as they should have. So with that in mind, 
Usually about 78 is a fair temperature to keep these. Now it's Fahrenheit. So keep them at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It's usually the ideal temp. That way everything kind of takes its time, but doesn't take its time, and you're right in the middle. So again, these guys are great fish for beginners. Really easy to sex. Not as easy as some of your other cichlids, but they are, compared to other ones, actually easy because there are some cichlids out there that you really just can't tell the genders and you just kind of have to hope for the best. Kind of like Oscars. Uh, you really kind of have to shoot for the stars for that one and just hope that you get a male and a female in the aquarium. But again, T bar cichlids, these guys are real pretty and they get the name from the T that is formed on the stripes on their body. It's a definite black stripe so you can see the T. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the T-Bar cichlid or any other fish that you'd like me to do a care sheet on, please post it down below in the comments and like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Just let me know how you like it. So again, thank you for watching. Visit my website at mafishguide.com for your store and aquatic needs. Thank you.